Hey, Brissette, where the fuck you going? Gotta drain the hose. Anyway, the fucking crying guy with the cat, remember him? I kept telling him the cat wasn't in the house. Oh, man, he's on the sidewalk. You got to tell us a story on this, though, because people are looking at you and they're looking at that and they're saying, how does that happen? How? Like, she really got into this role, you know? Like, my, my friends were like, um, how did they do that? Was that CGI or something? And and um, this, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, um, in epi and when we're shooting episode two, Genji comes up to me and, and she said, we want to go into Sophia's backstory in episode three. And um we were looking to hire someone to play Sophia um, pre-transition. And I yeah. said, who are you going to hire? I'm, I'm an actress. I can play. And you know us actors, we think right. we can play anything, anything. And that we should play anything. And um, we had this, they, they started bringing in actors um, and sort of standing them next to me and photographing us together. And they were these really butch, you know, black men. And I was like, this is off. And they in eventually ended up having auditions. And um, my twin brother... Um, they, um, our casting director found out that I have a twin brother, and she insisted that he should audition for the role. He's and not he, an actor at all. He's not. He's a musician, actually. His name is M. Lamar, and he's a brilliant um, singer, songwriter, uh, and musician um, here in New York City. He's, he's brilliant. I love him. And he auditioned, and he got the part, and he, and he, he does it. The funny thing is, we went through about an eight, eight-hour like, hair and makeup yeah. test day where we sort of... Um, Looked at, um, created Sophia's look throughout her transition, yeah. and when we got to the the guy look, if you will, and I have all this facial hair on, and I'm and Jodie Foster directed this episode, so I was like, I have to butch it up, you know, <laughs> because because jo Jodie, I don't think believed that I could I could pull this off, and I was like, I'm going to do it, and I go to Jodie, and she looks at me, she's like, we're going to have to hire someone. <laughs> so so you know, Jodie Foster didn't think I looked masculine enough to play um, to play a guy. So that's kind of cool, isn't it? It's kinda, on a, it's, on it's, a different it's, acting aside, it's kind of cool, isn't it's, it? It's it's a nice little. I was like, oh. Oh, okay, I never thought I would hear that. <laughs> right. you know, because it, well, you know, I can walk down the street and hear someone yell, like, "That's a man!" And so it's very um, comforting to know that um, you know someone. You weren't butch enough. I wasn't butch enough. Well, I, had, I was never butch enough. I think that's why we we're here. <laughs>